what is going on welcome back to empowering diy i know it's been a long time since we've done a video but uh due to some uh stuff i've had going on and and the holidays and pure laziness um i haven't done any videos um i actually have one video to edit uh from the nitro rc car that we ran i'll try to get it out in the next day or two too but uh i guess what i figured is uh how many more videos can we do in the attic i know we got three already so i'm gonna keep doing as many as i can right <laughs> we got plenty of work to do but i actually got something pretty exciting to show you um and uh this is something that i've been wanting to do for a couple years now and um wasn't really sure on the research and stuff and wanted to make sure what i was doing was was the right thing to do for the house so with that being said i finally got a gps unit now this is not a gps like a location finder this is a um, global plasma solutions system um, this is actually this one um is a needle point bipolar ionization system so right here you got these two points and what they do is they um, they energize the air with positive and negative neutrons and what it does is it makes the air uh, any any particulates in the air uh, clump up into bigger clumps and it helps the filter your uh, your return air filters in your house collect more dust more particles and this is the only device that I have found that um, kills the coronavirus so any a lot of viruses um, and smells and stuff and neutralize them and it collects it up in your your filters and stuff so when i say that this is the only device that kills the coronavirus i'm not kidding um you need to look it up do your research please and tell me if i'm wrong but i promise you i've done enough research i don't think i'm wrong um now there is other brands there is other uh products that is like this device here there's other ones like it but this is the only one that I found that actually has case studies that shows that um, they've proven to kill the coronavirus. So this is to me is huge. Um, that's why I'm ready to put it in my house. Now, um, New Calgon sells this product, but it doesn't look. This is from directly from GPS Global Plasma System. New Calgon gets theirs from them. This is their. Uh, this is directly from GPS. This is a commercial unit. Now, New Calgon sells residential um style uh gps units now they they have some that go inside your blower cabinet inside the ac coal you have some that um even mini splits uh so if you have a a mini split air conditioner that hangs up on the wall or you even have a, a ceiling cassette one they have new calgon has uh, a system for you now thanks to a buddy of mine brent um i have my i can get my hands on a commercial unit now this unit goes up to um i think it's um zero so it's i can go up to zero tons or whatever the smallest unit you can get up to 12 tons i know the shadow doesn't work there you go so this is a three ton split system so can you use this unit absolutely i'm putting it in my house right now um but the only thing is this is a commercial friendly unit um it's not residential friendly um a lot of residential units like this one this is the back side of the cabinet i'm on the other side of my unit the other side they have the access panels well when you pull that access panel off um all you can see is your acol it goes it goes like down this way and then comes back well that being said this unit needs to be installed in the return before the evaporator coal so again most re uh, commercial units they have a filter panel filter door you can just open it up and install it mine i do not have that so so i added this access panel this is a commercial style door uh, again thanks to brent he hooked me up with this um it's got you know it seals off it's got a nice latch on it and everything and um this way i have access because um you know this is my return box my supply goes that way and i didn't really have anywhere else good to put it because i have three returns on here i have one here one in the back 
and one on the front side i don't know if you can see it anyways that doesn't matter and either way even if i only had one return here i still didn't have good access to this box that wasn't janky or stupid or you know duct tape something coming off or whatever so this is a commercial grade heavy duty door with a latch so i can access it so if i need to work on this unit which is maintenance free but if i have to do anything to the unit i can get to it as well as i kind of gave myself a new access to get inside to the coal i know it's dark i don't have a light but it, that's now i can get straight to my coal without having to fight with it from the other side so this uh this door gives me a lot of benefits now if you're a homeowner um and you know you kind of do your own uh hvac service um you know you don't cleaning your coals and stuff like that and you have this type of split system setup heat pump you may want to consider a door like this um and uh it it'll really help so if you got any questions on this door let me know and i'll give you some uh, specs on it but like i said it's pretty nice it's got a little latch and so it won't open and flip it open and get inside there uh, kind of looks crooked right here but I, I can assure you it's straight i measured it but i don't know why it's looking maybe if i'm not holding the camera straight there you go anyways the door's in there so the next thing to do is uh let's get this uh let's system out and start figuring out how we can install it so let's see So um, the unit does come with magnets, rare earth magnets. So they should stick to about anything you want it to. Um, it's also got a little nylon bushing in there. Ow, and it will pinch your finger. Just pinch mine. Dude. So it's got these little bolts. Now you can, you can use a self tapper and run it straight in there, but I got these and it's really not a, not a point to fight with it. I'll just, I'll throw these magnets in there real quick and it won't take but a second. And then if I have to move it for any reason, then uh, it's a little bit easier. Let's see. All right, so what I want you to notice on this type of unit, let me get in the light. Sorry, y'all. All right, what you what I want you to notice is right here, it has a directional flow of air. Now, if you see, it's both ways. You got an arrow both ways. So when I place it in the box, I could place it um, however I want. So if the air is if the air is running this way, I just want it to go across these two points like this. I can have it going this way. It doesn't matter, but I don't want the air going this way. You do not want it going across. You need it going across this way. Okay, so that being said, my box is going this way. So I'm going to have this thing sitting just like this inside, inside the unit. Now, because I have a return up here, I want this air to drop and come across the coal. So inside here, I'm going to put it as far back as I can in that box before it goes into the A-coal to catch as much of that air from the upper return. So that being said, I'm gonna run the wires out the back side here. So I'm gonna have my wires right here and I'm gonna try to get it as close to the middle as possible. I'm gonna use my, my professional flashlight. All right, so as you can see, right here i have it and the magnet's not gonna let it go anywhere so as you can see you have other mounting points so i could mount it like that but obviously that's not gonna work 
and I don't want it like that, obviously. So, because my wire is on this side, I'm gonna run it right here. And I, you don't have to get super technical. I'm putting it about middle ways. And that way, every bit of air is gonna flow through this end of this box and over that. Okay, now it does have an on off switch right here. Um, you can flip it on and off. You wanna wire this to um, uh, something constant. You don't want to have this on a, uh, like the green wire for your fan or anything like that. You don't want it there. You want it constant. You want this thing charging the air 24 seven. So, um, we're going to use the black and white, black and white wires here. These two, these two wires here, or if it's a, like, like I said, because it's a commercial system, it, um, you know you can tie it into a um a building management system or anything like that so if it was the unit was to fail this would uh this would alarm your your uh building automation system so so again if anybody that uh owns any commercial buildings and you want to put these in and you have any type of like um a niagara network or a train tracer system or anything like that you can have these implemented into it and you know a little bit more information for you and of course green is ground so uh i'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute i'm gonna go ahead and drill my holes and run my wire and i'll come back and explain what i did because uh, i know that stuff's pretty boring so you don't need to watch me do it so i'll be back in a minute all right guys i'm back got the gps unit installed um real quick i'll go through this um have uh i added this resettable 24 volt fuse right here it's just a popper i call it a popper um i had a trouble with my thermostat a couple weeks ago ended up replacing my thermostat but it blew up um the fuse and then the, the transformer actually hit it from the ground side common side so now i got a fuse there but that's why it's there um if you notice i added a grommet here there wasn't one previously and then i ran the wire down and uh got it zip tied to the back of the unit and in and there's no way you can tell but there's a plastic grommet inside there protecting the wires and then let me get my let me get my professional flashlight and there it is installed reach in here hit my button there's the green light you should see the um the little cleaner arm is swept open so now it's in line with the air and it's good to go now it's already automatically set to self-clean um every so often you look at the instructions there isn't many of them cleaning cycle says designed to clean the brushes every three days and then you can change that to change the frequency press the cleaning cycle once once blah 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 anyways you can change the cleaning sequence i'm gonna leave it at three days because i think that's just fine now um some of my research showed that you should leave the fan the blower motor on 24 7 for like three days to ultimately charge the air in your house but because it's cold enough outside um, and the heater has been running a good bit, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it cycle on and off because it's so cold with a heat pump. Um, when the fan comes on, it gets, it gets chilly in the house with it running all the time. So then I just don't want my heater running more than it should. So, uh, I feel like the way it is now, it'll definitely charge the air and, uh, I can actually get a, um, um, ionized air meter to put in the house and, uh, see, I might do that, but who knows? Uh, we'll see how it goes. But like I said, a little quick recap. Um, oh, by the way, this runs off of a 24 volt, 120 volt, or 240. Um, I think it can even go up higher than that, but um, no, 24 volt to uh, 240 or 24 volt DC, I believe, um, or AC or DC. Anyways, do your research. Um, don't rely on everything I say, but the reason I'm telling you that is I ran it um i have plenty of thermostat wire 
and I'm not going to put 120 volts on thermostat wire, even though it's rated for it. I'm not going to do it. So I just, I just tapped into my transformer and my transformer has the resettable fuse. Again, that's why I said that earlier. Um, so now my GPS unit is on a resettable fuse where if I put it on the breaker at 240, it doesn't pull any, any power. There's hardly any amp draw. The amp draw is 0.41 amp to 0 0.041 amp. So if I put this on the 240 volt breaker, I feel like there's no protection for it because it's going to be destroyed before it gets up that high to trip that breaker. So I felt better on a 5 amp 24 volt uh, circuit and it'll work just the same. So all that blabbering to be said, um, please check out this system check out new calgon i'll put a link below for some of their products um you can check out gps but again global plasma solutions there's the um there's their website right there there's their phone numbers but they're commercial and they only sell to commercial um suppliers so you're not gonna be able to just go online and buy that you're gonna have to find a supplier to buy it um so again go back to new calgon check them out um they also sell to commercial suppliers but um, they should have some more research resources on where you can find, um, residential products. So again, if you have any questions, um, hit me up on the comments or my emails listed in my bio, um, hit me up on Instagram, whatever, make sure y'all like and subscribe this video. Um, hit the bell. I'm trying to put out some more videos. 2021 should be our year. We're going to try to have a good, good time. So thank y'all for watching. Have a good day.